And so it begins. Hey everyone, McDowan here. Today we are looking at the Upgrade Shark Set from Hasbro's new Fortnite Victory Royale 6-inch action figure line. I ordered this from Amazon for $22.99, and if you'd like to own your own, then I have a link for you in the pinned comment below. Let's flip around and take a look at the back of the box, see what we've got. It looks like we've got the shark, the accessories, how to work with the shark, and that figures can work with it. For those who want to see the barcode, here it is. Let's get this vicious creature out of the box. If you're new to the channel, welcome, and please subscribe so you'll be notified of future videos. If you want to help the channel out and you play Fortnite, please feel free to add my creator code to your Epic account. It's McDowan. Overall, we have a lot of interesting items in this set, and we're going to take a look at each one individually a little bit closer. Here we have the shrimpy back bling, and it's kind of neat and kind of interesting there. This is actually the back bling you get when you purchase the Mackie Master. I think it's called Mackie Master. Uh, in the game. So yeah, hopefully we'll get Mackie Master at some point to attach this backpack to him. We get this pump shotgun, and it looks pretty good. It's uh, a little rubbery. It's a little softer than what we're used to for Fortnite action figure weapons. We get a shield potion. It has a very interesting mixture of color in here. It's got a little snap over here and the purplish ribbon on that side. We get a nice looking fishing pole. The end does come off so you can attach it to the shark or to other items. I'll show you that in just a moment. We get these two crazy looking water skis, this pink and yellow design on them. We'll flip it around. They are just plain pink underneath. You'll see here there are some pegs so the figure's feet will fit in here and peg on so it will hold the figure better than just tucking into these boots. Uh, I saw some lettering in here. So this one actually has, uh, you can't really see it. I'll adjust my light down. This has an L in there for the left foot and there is an R in here for the right foot. It's it's really dark and deep in there so you'll you'll notice it yourself when you, if you take a look in there. But yeah, left foot and right foot. And if you look at this, you can also kind of see the shape of the foot just a little bit so you'll know. And I don't know if it actually matters when you put a figure on here. We'll have to find out when we get a figure. And of course we get the loot shark. It comes in four pieces. There is this back end here. This little hole is where you attach the fishing pole hook to. Then you can stretch it back and pretend like the figure is water skiing as the shark is pulling them away. You'll notice there's a couple little holes here. That's because we get some fins to attach as well. And I don't know, it doesn't seem to say which ones are which, but it's pretty obvious uh, that you can make sure that the fin is sloped down. Let's see, maybe I'll do it this way. Make sure the fin is sloped down like this, and then it just pushes right on in, like so. And then there are three pieces. You can see how they slope down just like that. Then we've got I'll set this over here. Uh, we've got the front portion and the mouth. I didn't know this. Maybe we did. The mouth opens up. When you look in there, there's a nice uh, little uh, system for allowing the jaw to open. I've had, or I not I've had, but I've heard people ask, or I've seen people ask, can a figure go in there? Well, even if it's the four inch action figures, they won't fit in there. It's There's not enough room. The jaw does not open well enough. So we'll take this piece and can slide it together. At least I thought it was going to be. There we go. So there we've got the entire loot shark. or I call it loot shark. I guess that's actually called upgrade shark on the box. So maybe in game it's called upgrade shark and somehow I missed that. But this is really cool. I like this. This is pretty neat. I think you could actually use this with four inch action figures if you wanted to. So I would say this probably scales really well. I'm gonna scoot some of these items off to the side. I'll set the shark here. I'm gonna grab a tape measure. Let's do a quick measurement on this and so we get it back into focus as well. So doom. So from nose to tail, it is well, from nose to this little cut out of the tail is about nine inches. 
I'll do this so you can see that better. So it's about nine inches. And then the tip of the tail up here, lengthwise, is getting close to 10 inches. It's not an exact measurement, but it's pretty close. So it's, well, actually the, yeah, it's actually, we'll, we'll go with about 10 inches long from nose to tail. Heightwise, it's probably a little over five inches. It's either, at my angle, I can't quite see. It's either about five inches or just a little over five inches. So this is a good size loot shark. I grabbed a four inch action figure and this is what he looks like next to the shark for about a height comparison. Let's open that mouth. So you'll see that uh, <laughs> it's kind of gruesome I suppose, but that's about how well he'll fit in there. So it doesn't really fit. Okay, well I mean you can get him up almost to the waist, but he, you can't slide him all the way in. Now another thing I have heard it's a little bit challenging to pull that apart. It looks like this ribbed area has complementary lines in there, so it hooks together actually really pretty good. You could, if you really wanted to, you could put a figure in there and maybe see him through there. What this is meant to do is hold accessories, from what I understand, because in the game, when you blow up a shark, blow him up, get rid of him, whatever, he pops up all these accessories. All these things fly out of him. So, oh, well, let's put the head the correct way, shall we? So, the fishing rod, you're going to have to open his mouth. <laughs> it almost looks like he's shooting out of his mouth. He's like a shark cannon now or something. <laughs> so, may, oh, okay, there. I got it show. Okay, there we go. So all those accessories do fit in there, which is neat. I don't know if you could get very many more accessories. I don't know if you'd want to get many more accessories. There will be more accessories that come out with the future figures, but yeah, I'm trying to get this thing open. Wow, there we go. We just got him and he blew up his stuff all over. So that was kind of funny to have everything just kind of pop and go every which way when you open it. Yeah, it, it is a little bit tough to get uh, this separated. And, Apparently the fin falls off pretty easy. Maybe I just didn't get it in there all the way properly. Whoa, we just flipped the shark. So I'm gonna scoot these to the side. Last thing I'm gonna show you is this connection here. I'm trying to be careful with this at the moment. So we unhook the fishing pole, the fishing rod, or the hook, fishing hook. And it's supposed to, there we go, hook right there. As you can see, it does so very well. And then, get a character like Meowsles, like on the package. Get him in these water skis. And off they go, because as soon as you hook that shark, it takes off, and that's your new vehicle. The shark was actually introduced in Chapter 2, Season 3, the water season. It's one of my favorites. There's a lot of cool things that happened in that season, that game season. And this is so much reminding me of the trailer for that season when you saw Meowsles riding around on the loot shark. It was a lot of fun to, to see all that stuff going on there. But yeah, this is really neat. I really, I like this set. This is very, very it's very clever, I would say. I really like that the items can be stored inside of it. I like that it's an actual toy, I guess, because they don't, send a display stand with it so it must be a, a toy of some sort right you can grab it and play and yeah do things with it it's very cool I, I really do like it and I think it'll go well with four inch figures these accessories won't and the fishing pole none of this stuff the shark is the item that will go well the shark is going to this sets going to cost you the same price as a normal regular six inch figure so yeah, it's up to you at that point but I think this is a pretty cool set and I'm glad that I reviewed this one first, or I got this one first, because, yeah, it's pretty neat. All right, so now it's your turn. What do you think about this set? Leave your thoughts in the comments section below. But before you go, brush up on your Fortnite Hasbro knowledge and check out this video in the lower left corner. It will tell you what figures we are expecting 
in the next several waves. Thank you for watching. Please like this video and share it everywhere. It really does help the channel to grow. I will see you in the next video.